Jellybean Story Page, The Midnight Monster, and The Mischief Mission. It was a night just like any other in Max's room, until it wasn't. The moonlight streamed through the window, casting shadows on the walls, and the soft ticking of the clock kept time with Max's breaths as he lay in bed, wide awake. Something felt different tonight. Suddenly, Max heard a rustle beneath his bed. His heart raced, and he pulled the covers up to his chin. Who's there? he whispered, his voice trembling. A deep, rumbling voice answered, It's me, Marvin, the monster under your bed. Max blinked in surprise. A monster? Under my bed? No way. Yes way, Marvin replied with a chuckle. But don't worry, I'm not here to scare you. I need your help. Max hesitated, but curiosity got the best of him. Slowly, he peeked over the edge of his bed. There, staring back at him with big, googly eyes and a goofy grin, was Marvin, a furry blue monster with a belly that jiggled when he laughed. What kind of help does a monster need? Max asked, now more intrigued than scared. Marvin scratched his head with one of his many fluffy arms. Well, you see, there's a bunch of mischievous critters called the Sneaky Snatchers, and they've been stealing dreams all over town. I'm supposed to protect the dreams, but I can't catch them alone. Max sat up, excitement bubbling inside him. You want me to help you catch these sneaky snatchers? Exactly, Marvin exclaimed, his eyes twinkling. But we have to be quick. They only come out at midnight and they're really tricky. Max didn't need any more convincing. He grabbed his flashlight, a baseball cap, and a pair of mismatched socks. Because everyone knows mismatched socks are the secret to any successful adventure. With a nod to Marvin, he whispered, Let's do this. With a poof of monster magic, Marvin and Max shrank down to the size of a dust bunny and zoomed under the bed. They slipped through a secret portal and found themselves in a world of towering pillows, swirling glitter, and clouds made of cotton candy. This is the dream realm, Marvin explained as they floated down a river of melted chocolate. But be careful, the sneaky snatchers are masters of disguise. Just then, they heard a strange giggle from behind a marshmallow boulder, Max flashed his light, revealing a tiny, wiggling creature with a sack full of glowing dreams. There they are, Max shouted. The chase was on. Max and Marvin sprinted after the sneaky snatcher, dodging flying pillows and jumping over streams of sprinkles. The sneaky snatcher was fast, but Max was faster. With a well-aimed throw, Max's mismatched sock flew through the air, landing right on the snatcher's head, causing it to trip and tumble into a pile of whipped cream. Gotcha! Max cheered as Marvin tied up the snatcher with a licorice rope. The creature wriggled and squeaked, but Marvin just laughed. Time to give those dreams back, you little rascal! One by one, the dreams floated out of the sack and back into the night sky. Max watched in awe as the dreams drifted off to their rightful owners, sparkling like shooting stars. As the last dream returned to its place, Marvin and Max high-fived each other, victorious. We did it! Max exclaimed, grinning from ear to ear. Marvin winked at him. All thanks to you, Max. You're a natural dream defender. With their mission complete, Marvin and Max returned to Max's bedroom. With a poof, they were back to their normal sizes, the adventure fading into the quiet hum of the night. Max climbed into bed, feeling a sense of pride and exhaustion. That was the best adventure ever, he said with a yawn. Marvin smiled from under the bed. Anytime you need another, you know where to find me. As Max drifted off to sleep, he couldn't help but wonder what other adventures awaited him in the dream realm. One thing was for sure, having a monster under the bed wasn't so scary after all. In fact, it was downright fun. For oh.